Hey, what's good, YouTube? Hey, it's your boy Anderson. Hey, I'm sorry for the real, real late video of how I did the um, deck inside my 2013 Dodge Charger. So here it is, finally that time that I'm able to go ahead and put this video together and show everybody, show the world how it can be done. Now, I will say it is some work to this if you don't have the patience or the time don't even bother all right i mean it takes a lot of measuring um a lot of cutting and a lot of just being creative and putting this together but once it is done it feels good looks good sounds good and everything still works um i'm very proud of this deck i'm very proud of putting it all together and having the opportunity to just be creative and stuff. Um, I did change my deck uh, just last week. I went ahead and just uh, hooked up the different deck. Um, now I have my Pioneer App 3, I believe, deck. Um, not what I really wanted, but it's one of the decks I already had. So I switched it out from the Boss to the Pioneer deck. Um, the sound quality of my Pioneer amp app deck is much better than the, uh, boss deck I had in here. Like I said before in my last video, the boss deck was just something just to have in there for the time being. But, um, we about to go ahead and get all down in the nitty gritty of this. All right. As you can kind of see, I have everything already broken down, taken apart, um, that, that I had already put back together, but everything is taken apart and I will go through just about everything as much as possible to show you how I did it and how it was done. All right. Um, first, I, uh, we're going to start off is at the bottom. As you saw in my last video, I put my information panel, this bad boy right here. I removed it and placed it down into this uh, cubby place where the ashtray, well, I should, I should say the cigarette lighter was, and just a little, that little cubby, cubby space. All right. Um, this cord right here that goes in the back of this information screen, I wrapped it around, came around, and it hooks up to this. That right there, that cord right there is your information screen and your um, AC controllers, all that good stuff. Took that cord, hooked it up, well, took it apart and replaced it up under here. So that's that was kind of easy part right there. All right, we'll set that to the side. As you can see, I trimmed all around this bad boy. As much as possible, believe me. Trimmed all around here. Got all the excess. Only thing you really need to have sh showing is this real front plate right here. Around this bezel right here. Alright, and as you saw in my last video, I did make a cover for it. So I can kind of prop this bad boy up to kind of get it going. I did make a cover for it. And that is kind of traced around the opening of it to go over it and cover up everything from behind it. So as long as you don't really touch around the edges or anything like that, it's good to have a little extra just in case so that when you want to customize it or uh, be creative, you're going to have and then also have like a little mini dash kit that I made to put on top of it. Um, I did use a piece of plastic, um, is best, a really piece of hard plastic. I used my router to kind of get around it and cut every edge and everything. Um, what is on top of here is a vinyl sheet, as you can kind of tell, real thin vinyl sheet, heated up some. 
and it sticks right on there and stays right on there. Um, I will change this to a flat color. Um, probably today I'll put another uh, vinyl sheet over it to flat color to kind of really blend in more with this uh, everything. Actually, everything else in the car. All right. So moving on from that. As you say, I got everything still hooked up, still together, still intact, still going. Alrighty, now all these cords that's coming out of your information screen was previously up top. And I had to relocate everything along the sides and down the bottom. Alright, so everything has been re- located all right now let me see if i can get to it i believe it's this uh, this cord right here is your power cord now with this power cord right here to your information screen that cord you will have to let me see if i can get up under here real good <laughs> This power cord, twist it around, out the way. Um, I did have to kind of take hanging off right here. I did cut all of these. I cut the whole power cord in half. Everything's still color coded, and I added my own wires to it, like just regular speaker wires, and. Ran it, taped it all back up, ran it back up to where it came from, and it's pretty much it's like an extender. It's um, it's taking the actual wire, uh, speaker wire, and just adding more wire to it so it can come all the way down because it wasn't reaching all the way down when I first did it. So, um, I did it and it added another ah uh, shoot about six inches. If so, I can't remember, but as you can tell, it's all the way back there. As you can see, let me kind of get back there. Just added wire from the other end of the power, and then just tapped it and took my time wire by wire, one by one, and then just hooked it right back up to the wire that it was already connected to. So I just extended that wire on down. Now, moving on. As you can kind of see, this piece right here is where the ashtray was, cigarette lighter, cubby, compartment, however you want to call it. Um, these, this right here was the, um, that went to the cigarette lighter. So, of course, you can just kind of put that off to the side. Oh, I'm sorry, this one went to the cigarette lighter. That's the power. And then so when it went to the lights. Some little little lights that when it was down there. Alright. So kind of put all that to the side. This right here, I cut all around inside of it. <laughs> kind of made little notches just so that this can fit down into it. As you are can see and saw all right so I just made those two notches one on this side one on this side so that I can fit down in there and of course having that on top position right well it's not position right right now because everything's still loose but position right and there you go. Alright. So take that back out. And stuff. So once that is done, um, like I said, I cut all back up in here, cut all that extra cubby space out. Um, like I said, this is some work you gotta pit in, but hey, best and believe I saved uh four hundred dollars instead of buying that kit that they want us to pay for these cars. But to me, it was it's well worth it. Um, I took my time 
did everything that I need to do, measured everything before I just start cutting everything. All right, so just kind of take your time, measure stuff, and see what stuff fits at. I mean, because as you can see, everything that I did, it fits, it sounds well, and it works. All righty, so moving on to the speaker wires. All right. Now, I'm just kind of going over all the wire stuff, kind of getting it out the way now, and then moving on to everything else. All right, the speaker wires coming from out of your... DVD upside down. Your DVD, not DVD, I'm sorry, your CD player, radio, head unit. All right, all that's behind the AC controllers. All right, four screws, take that out. And with this right here, I've actually saw this on YouTube. One of the guys, um, he had a website that had the Dodge Charger color codes. For the wires for the speaker wires and everything what wire went to what and it was legit it worked it was true um i retapped all my wires to where all of where it needed to go to um had everything sounding right did all the wire pre-wires cutting everything um looks kind of shady right now i ain't gonna lie i don't even like it i don't remember doing it like this but it is what it is for right now but um that's the way it is for right now. I will probably redo it. I ain't gonna lie. Man, that ain't pretty. That's not pretty. But I will probably, uh retap it. I'm not retap, but uh reconnect everything much better, look more uh professional like. Um but everything does line up and fit well. Alright. So got my as you see, the power wire going into that red and white from the deck alrighty everything's still hooked up if I wanted to use it I could but I don't because ain't no sound gonna come out of it so I don't even use it and then once you get everything else hooked up you're not gonna use it either alright the only thing I use this thing for is for the climate control change the setting as far as the clock when the time change and that's it I leave the radio off the um, audio off and just use my settings if I need to or my climate control and that's it and it's cool with me that's all I need to know so once all that's done all that's uh fitted everything's cut right let's see kind of get up in here but um I will post the website where I got the the little sheet from to say what colors go to where and what does and what does what so that everybody can know and see how they can do it themselves all right let me put that back in there and i'll set it there for right now until i'm ready to put it back fully all right so now moving up to the b section all right that's my new well, not new. I had it for for a minute now, but that's my Pioneer amp radio. Believe me, this is going to change too. I got something bigger and better in planned that no other Dodge even have. And I say bigger and better, bigger and better. But this is for right now, for the time being. All right, as you can kind of see, everything back here is gone. Everything. When you uh, finally get behind your actual dash, you will have a uh, brace and plastic pieces and all kind of this metal bar going across. Everything is going to be there. All right. And in order for a deck to go in here, you have to remove all of that. All uh, this big old plastic piece goes straight down. Um, as you kind of see, it connects all down up here. I cut all that out the way. It's just a plastic piece for the actual information screen and just taking up space. All right, so I cut all of that off and down. As you see, the bar, that metal bar, is, I mean, it's still connected. It's still going to do its purpose, support, and all that good stuff. It wasn't, that's not the only place it was supported at. So don't get too scared and frantic and all that type of stuff, but cut that off with a my metal 
saw right there that's the tools that i use um that red clamp scissors like i use that to cut or just pull and clip away this plastic hard plastic piece and stuff just to kind of get real low and all the way down so that my deck can sit flush all right um this ground was connected to this um your information i'm sorry the other cord down here was connected to this metal thing but it was just in the hole with a little uh clamp so once you take that clamp out um and move it out the way you can really get the cutting um that metal uh bar all right now when cutting this metal bar you don't want to go too deep with your saw too far back take your time because i did go a little far back See if I can get up in here. I did go a little far back and went back into my AC box. But with that good old special flex seal, sprayed that bad boy up and it is good to go. Nothing hindrance or hurting. Um, I believe I did put that there. Some metal work around. As you see, nothing is inside of here. This metal bar. Nothing is inside of it. Just make sure there's nothing else connected once you're cutting. Just kind of go around it, feel around it, make sure there's nothing else connected to it. That's what I did. Um, I trimmed up back here so that the deck can kind of sit more flush back up in here. This is the AC, where your AC uh, blows out of. I cut all that up in there. Um, I uh, kind of made my own little bracket, this hard plastic piece, made my bracket that connects up to the side, one of these holes, the side of the deck, and then this is another support that I have at the bottom to kind of hold the deck up, kind of sit kind of right a little above that because the actual bezel is above this piece right here, so it kind of sits above. Uh, I made me another bracket from up top right into there, a little L-shaped one and this one goes into that slot right there, one of those alrighty um, my speaker wires all up with my wires that need to go to the back of the deck subwoofer antenna um you will need to get a uh, by antenna wire. It's a European um, kind of antenna wire. Oh man, it's it's mainly used for like BMWs, but it's um, a European type of antenna wire. Let me see the end of it if I can get to it. Oh, I totally forgot about that. So you can still have your radio. So like I said, this is the antenna. Let's see this antenna. No. Totally forgot about that one. Do apologize. Okay, here we go. Alright. So the antenna wire still up to here. I, guess I can't take it out right now. Sorry for the wiggling around, but let's see if I can get a code or something so you know exactly what I'm trying to get. Yep, that's what I did. stuff already in mind already but I do apologize but it is a European type of antenna wire oh, I'm sorry there you go 
Bam. So, little short cord. That's the connector. Connects it so that it can be a regular antenna wire. Because that's a regular, and then I think inside of this right here has a a hole. I'm trying to, I don't know if I can take it off without with one hand here. But sorry for that. I try to I try to look it up and have it posted up on the page. So you can all see. So like I said, I just cut everything out of the way so that everything can fit down flush, flat. Um, everything's hooked up where it needs to be, where it should be. Put that bad boy back in there. Um, I put Velcro down there to kind of help it stay there, stay in place. And then one on the deck, one on the brace. So they can line it up. I'm not going to set it in there right now because I still got to line everything up. All right. Now, with the, when doing this type of work, you will have to do a lot of adjustments, a lot of lining stuff up to make sure everything fits well and the way it should, um, the way you want it to look. All right, because it's, it's a lot of measurement. All right, now, this. When I had to fit this deck in, I had to make a new bracket uh, for it. Around it, um, measured around here, give it a little, uh, little more space so that the deck can open and close without hitting or pushing anything. Um, this sits behind it once everything is lined up. I'll show you all in a little while here. <laughs> Um, another kind of plastic cardboard piece, kind of firm. Um, like I said, I put the same thing I did for the bottom. Has some extra vinyl, just for temporary right now until I go get some more. I uh, put it around it, measures up real nice. Um, now the edges up here of this piece. That I got. Let's see if I can get this right here. That I got with this. Measure that real good so that I know that once I do put it in, everything's going to fit right, fit perfectly, and it won't be hitting anything. So, like I said, measure everything, check where everything needs to go, lay it out. And just do minor adjustments here and there. It's good to do little cuts, then big cuts. Believe me, I did that before. <laughs> Alrighty, so just a little word. Alright, now on the back of here. If I can get that to stand up, good enough. Alright, on the back of here, um, I trimmed up all of this. Lined it up, even it out straight as possible as could. Um, trimmed off this little notch right here. Like a little nipple. Trim that up. So it kind of made it look real big. Like a big old 8 inch screen. Would fit up in there. Hint, hint. But. Um, cut all that off. Then once I cut all that off. Um, I spray painted. Sanded it down. Spray painted. Still kind of made it look kind of factory look. As much as possible. I think I did a real good job. I mean, my my own big credit anyway. I like the stuff the stuff to look right as if it never was touched or it came like that. But did that, trimmed it up real good, and I think that's about it. Um, this is my video of how I did everything, how I lined everything up, what I cut. What I moved, um, I will try to make sure every, the websites is up there for the actual um, wires descriptions. 
as far as for what wire go to what and take it from there my steering wheel controls um that i'm not worried about there's no biggie uh, from the deck or anything like that i'm not worried about that everything else still works sounds good looks good um and that's it i mean if you got any questions uh, hit me up. I thank y'all, everybody, for all the likes, the questions that you have sent up so far. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for checking it out. Um, I can kind of briefly show you what I need to show you, anything else I need to go in depth with, and just take it from there. All right, so I'm about to put all this stuff back together. So just stand by for a second. All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, I'll take a little pause for a second. All right, so everything is hooked up. Look back the way it should be, the way I like it. Nice and sleek. Nice and defined, nice and clean. Have to wipe some stuff down, but it's okay. Starting the car up. Information screen. Deck. The radio on, as I told you before. Audio off. Climate. Setting. Turn it on. I ain't got the car on. Everything still works. The radio still works. I do have Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Time, all that good stuff. Alrighty, so this is my video. It's all done, complete. Um, like I said before, if you have the time, the patience to kind of do some cutting, removing, replacing, um, it can be done and you will enjoy it. You will save over $400. Instead of buying a big old dash kit that puts your deck down here, I didn't even want that. I mean, because it's not, I don't like to look down at the stuff. I want to be able to look up, still look at the road, still do what I need to do up top, and keep it moving. Alrighty, so this is what it is. 2013 Dodge Charger. Um, Anderson making it do what it do. Um, I probably will post another video of my new deck that I put in here. And 